Hi, I'm Nina Oyama, and I'm a stand-up comedian. You know, the other day it actually occurred to me, aside from comedy, I have no other tangible skills. But that's why I'm teaming up with Punky and Billy Blue College of Design at Torrens University, Australia, to try and upskill. Now today I'm going to be watching a tutorial by a Billy Blue grad. I don't know what it is or what it's about, but hopefully I can learn something. Hey, I'm Alexandra and I'm a concept artist and today I'm super excited to show you how to create a game character concept sheet from brief to final render. I'm thinking like 8-bit, I'm thinking like boop, 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 boop. As part of the game design degree at Billy Blue College of Design, you will go over all of the components that make up a character concept sheet. Okay, that's definitely not 8-bit. The brief was to turn Nina Oyama, an Australian comedian, into a game character. Most of my inspiration for her design came from her Instagram. I noticed that she was a skater, she loves plaids and bold prints. Lucky that I spend a lot of time trying to be hot on my Instagram. You can see that I focused on blazers, hoodies and chunky boots in order to evoke her style. I also focused on a lot of flyaway loose components such as these buckles and belts because game characters benefit a lot from a lot of moving components. I feel like if this was from 2018 where I had to wear a lot of animal costumes for sketch shows, this would be a very different character. You can see that I experimented with the color scheme of her blazer, as well as the prints that she usually wears, which is plaid, checkered, and bold prints. I would like these costumes to just wear. This is incredible. I also created some props for her. I envisioned her as a dual gun wielder. I have guns. And I wanted to incorporate a skateboard into her design because she loves skateboarding and I thought that would give a fun twist to her character. This is the sickest video game character ever. I also ideated on a lot of headwear for her. I ended on this visor over here because it's still very street style and it fits her design most naturally. This is the best. Once the ideation phase is complete, you can move on to creating orthographics. Orthographics include a front view, back view, and a side view minimum of your character and prop. You can see here that I included a front view and a profile of her portrait. She even did my eyeliner right! Aww. Once the orthographics are done, you can move on to your final render. A final render is a highly rendered version of the design with all of its components. So this is my final version of Nina's design. Oh my god! I don't think I've ever put this much effort into myself. <laughs> I used a grayscale muted background in order not to take too much away from the colors. This is a very common way to do it in the industry. And that's it. I hope you've learned a lot. I did. Nina, when you see this, I hope you love it. Thank you. I do love it. Oh my God. What the, what? This is insane. This is so cool. Like I'm going to cry or something. Like this is so, there's so much work that went into this. This is very cool. I had no idea this much time and like consideration went into developing a game character. I mean, like I'm not a designy person myself. I mean, can you do this on paint? I don't think so.